And in the case of the FEMA trailers, they were they were made quickly and distributed quickly because there were obviously pressing needs for them, and, um, and and there was that issue that they came out onto the market out out into use so quickly. I think it's pretty sad that they're using these trailers that have been proven over the years to not be healthy to live in. They're just uh, it's a complete disregard for for the health of people that are here to work. I mean, they need places to stay. So, I mean, if they could do it with trailers, that's fine, but they should be doing it with a trailer that's safe for everybody. It, it, um, formaldehyde is an off-gassing product of, uh, I think, the particle board and um, probably some of the other uh, uh, synthetic parts of the trailer, whether it's the carpet or the uh, paneling, any kind of synthetic, synthetically derived paneling. But the people that's got sick, in the, in the past years that we've used them for Rita and Cameron and stuff. And if we use them here, you're going to hurt innocent people that don't that need to get sick. They're just trying to help out the community. The acute irritation of eyes, nose, mouth, lungs, um, possible exacerbation of, of existing conditions like asthma or, chronic, or another chronic lung disease, uh, possibly skin irritations. Um, but what you'll what you'll hear from people if they've if uh, if there are high levels anyway is they that they can smell it um, now whether you can smell those very low levels and some of the if you read 0.1 parts per billion kind of or 0.1 parts per million kind of numbers um, I, I'm not certain um, if you remember uh, high school biology class and what frogs smelled like might have a smell kind of like that